Today's video, the Merc with the Mouth, gets a special edition release as we have a look at the Beast Kingdom Deadpool Egg Attack action figure. It must be a case of wash day, nothing clean. Deadpool trades in his classic red costume in favor of a lighter gray outfit. The product code on this release is EAA065. Before we get a special look at the special release of Deadpool, let's figure out how tall the figure stands. Putting the tape measure, the Ultra Measuretron, right up to the top of his head. The figure stands exactly 7 inches in height. And sorry, what is that? Centimeters, you say? Centimeters it is. Let's switch that over to centimeters to find out that Deadpool stands at 17.8 centimeters to be exact. Egg Attack Deadpool, the gray variant of Deadpool, comes included with this really neat display base. Astute viewers would probably recognize this display base with other Beast Kingdom releases. More importantly, the Action Hero line, the Justice League lineup, also had the same dis similar display base. The only thing that's different here is the fact that you've got, of course, Deadpool on the top, Deadpool across the front, but there's more to it than just that. The Egg Attack ones, in this case for Deadpool, doesn't have the adjustable ratcheted uh, neck to it. Instead, they have just a neck that can move back and forth. A lot of it mostly because I would imagine the size of the figure. Um, you probably don't need the adjustable uh, neck here, but it does swivel back and forth. This hinges up and down, and this opens back and forth. Uh, when displaying the figure, you can get them in many different poses. You can go with the... <sighs> yawn museum pose or you can get a little bit more creative and put Deadpool in some really zany looking display po poses instead. The figure I draw your eyes over here comes with a wide array of accessories all of which we'll look at right now. I guess for starters he comes with this scabbard that's going to get attached to the back of the figure's torso and yes it does house two fling katanas. You can take the katanas and slide them into the top like that. And don't worry, when you feel as you're putting it the wrong way, the scabbard will say, no dice. You need to stop, rethink your options, and put it in the correct way. There is a peg, which I, as best as I could describe, it looks like a half circle. You can flip the figure around, and it just pegs into place like so. And you want to make sure, of course, when you are putting it in, you'll see that there is a circle, but then half of it has been cut off. Or it's been divided in half, I guess. And uh, then that just plugs into place like so. 
like that. Uh, again, you can take the katanas you know, without sound effects and you can pull them out of the scabbard and you can display them into the figure's hands. We'll talk about that a little bit in a second. Still more to cover, don't worry. Uh, he comes with this really neat looking gun, which kind of actually looks like a super soaker. Now, this is, of course, recolored from the one that initially came with Deadpool. In fact, all of the stuff here was originally released with Deadpool in the traditional red colors. This gun, for example, would have been red, and then the canisters on the top would have been blue. So this is the same, just the lighter gray. Imagine, if you will, swapping that out, and it would have been red instead. He also gets what looks to be a taco. I was going to guess a chimichanga, but I think it's actually a taco that comes included with the figure. And uh, it's pretty neat, actually. It's got a little bit of hot sauce on the top there, some lettuce, some cheese, all the things that would make a great taco. Absolutely delicious. Oh, wait, there's more. He also comes with a selfie stick for taking a photo of himself. I like that he comes included with that. And and uh, those accessories, by the way, minus the taco, can fit into the supplied hand, depending on which hand you want to use, this side or this side. Same thing applies for the gun. So those are his fun accessories. He also comes with a series of interchangeable hands. Currently, I've got in the sockets, closed fists. If you want to get a little bit more exciting, and uh, what I do like that Beast Kingdom has done, they give you the gestured hands on both sides. So if you want to have it on this side, but then you decide, oh, wait a minute, that's the side, of course, he's going to be eating the taco with in the hand that is already molded with the taco. Don't worry, you can use this hand instead, and you just swap them in. He also comes with a pair of relaxed hands. Not much going on with those. Comes with a pair of gripping hands for doing a lot of the gripping of accessories. Fancy that. And he also comes with a pair of thumbs up signs. Thumbs up. A-OK. -okay. Or I guess in some ways, thumbs down or undecided. Is that unde undecided? Thumbs up, thumbs down. Uh, and then again, you just swap those out. This is pretty cool. He comes with a series of interchangeable eyes as well, depending on how you want to have him displayed. He comes, for example, with some heart eyes. He comes with some squinty eyes or smiley eyes, if he's smiling, because you can't see him underneath the mask, he's smiling. Uh, he comes with uh, kind of crossed eyes. Like he's kind of uh, annoyed. Mm, I'm annoyed. Mm, I'm annoyed. As those kind of eyes. I guess this could be laughing eyes too. And he also comes with a couple of little uh, speck eyes. If you want to have them displayed like that. All of which can easily be accessed. These are all magnets. Uh, you just sort of... I find it's easier if you sort of just push the corner... And then you just kind of kind of slide them forward like that. Uh, find the eyes that you want to replace them to. Let's say we go with the heart-shaped eyes. And all of them have magnets on the underside. You just attach them in like so. The hardest part, actually, is just trying to figure out which way they go. The hearts are the easiest because the hearts go upright. And uh, there you have the different various eyes. Now, you can mix and match those as well, depending on your preference. Again, we just slide those forward our best not to lose those and let's go with let's go with these eyes there we go there's one and uh, just to show you you can mix and match them get exactly the desired look that you want to get from them i think for the rest of this review i think we'll go back to the regular traditional eyes i say regular traditional eyes but these eyes here having a look at the uh, overall figure of course, this falls under the egg attack action. So you're basically getting like a squatter, stockier looking Merc with the mouth now here in his lighter shade of gray. Still has the black, which carries its way from the original release of Deadpool. So the black in the shoulders, the black in the forearm area, and the black on the side still is there. Again, instead, now you're swapping out with this lighter gray. He has a little tip on the back of his, uh, of his mask. I like that. Um, he's, again, a very stylized-looking Deadpool, but I think that's the, the appeal of, the, of this specific figure. He is touted. I'm going to... This popped off. I'm just going to leave that off, actually, for the rest of this review so I don't bang it off by mistake. He's got a couple of little holsters on the side. He's got one on his 
the side of his leg and he's got one right here. I wonder if this one is facing the wrong way or I wonder if this was put on intentionally where the pistol handle is facing this way where he could easily access it. Access it. Um, I thought that this could open up and sure enough, yes it does. And uh, looking at the pistol inside, it doesn't seem to actually come out. I don't know if it's been glued in place so that it doesn't allow you to pull it out. Let's check the one on the side of his leg. This would help so much easier if I had fingernails. There we go. This one does pull out, so that one must actually pull out as well. It's just a little bit more on the stuck side. Smaller version of the pistol. Two of them now, being that we have this one here. Couldn't get that out beforehand. This must be the magic of the review that's let me do it. Um, this is really neat too. I like this. He's got the Deadpool logos on the underside and the under treads of his boots of his boots there. A little nice small touch, and of course he's got his Deadpool logo in the in the middle there. Colors, as you could probably guess it, based solely on the fact that it's a lighter shade of gray, uh, makes him kind of more the traditional uh, X Force colors of Deadpool. Um, I certainly would love to have seen this guy in the red colors, but I just didn't get a chance to pick that one up. Uh, he is very poseable as well for his size. We can actually go through and run that through that together. You and me, you you and me, as a team. Go team. The head rotates back and forth. He actually does have a ball joint at the base of the head. It attaches to the top of the neck, and then he's got one down at the base of his neck. So he actually gets two ball joints. Sometimes when you are moving the head side to side, inadvertently, you may pop these eyes off. Luckily, being that they're just magnets, pop them back right into place like magic. Unicorn magic. Uh, the arms sway forward and back. He's kind of got that shoulder that shoulder socket right there allowing the arms to move forward and back. Um, you can also rotate the arms all the way around. Doesn't have a swivel on the bicep, however, he does have a hinge on the elbow and he has a swivel in the wrist. Now he's got a ball joint, essentially like a dumbbell ball joint. One is there, one is there, so it hinges in two different places. Upper torso ball joint, he's got a lower ball joint or lower waist swivel. Legs split out, you can move them forward, yes? You can move him back. Yeah, I know. You were going to say, I can. you can move him back, too. Yeah, you can move him back. Uh, he has a double hinge on the knee. Um, nothing swivels here, essentially, but it does swivel up at the top here where it attaches to the ball joint there. Uh, the foot hinges back and forth, ankle rocker, up and down motion, and he's got articulation right on the end of the feet. So as you could guess it, as you could probably assume, because you guys are very smart viewers, you can get Deadpool in various different poses. It's just all a matter of whether you can actually get him to stand upright. If you feel as if he's swaying a little bit or a good gush of wind is starting to come into your room, I don't know how that's possible. Uh, you can always make use of, of course, the display stand and uh, you can use that to help support the character. As I certainly did at the beginning of this review as well, you can angle this up. And again, if you want to have Deadpool sort of leaping, you can do that too, just depending on where you get that waist clip happening. You can kind of support it underneath, underneath the torso area that swivels on that ball joint. That can also help aid if you want to have him leaping in the air. Overall, really just a fun looking figure. I never got my chance to get the regular red costume version of Deadpool, but I got to admit he looks pretty neat though in the gray color scheme. And the icing on the cake, on this delicious unicorn cake, is the fact that Deadpool also has as many accessories as he does, which makes an already cool looking figure that much cooler. Deadpool's always been a big ham, and I'm glad that for this egg attack action release from Beast Kingdom, they opted to give him some fun accessories for displaying him. Likely, what you're seeing currently here in Final Looks is exactly how he's going to be displayed with the selfie stick in hand and Deadpool doing what Deadpool does best, hamming it up for the camera. I really like these egg attack action figures. They're a little bit more stylized, a little stockier, and a little bit off proportioned, but that's sort of the charm that makes up these figures. If you picked up any of these for yourself, you sort of can 
see the love that I would have for a piece like this. If you've managed to pick up the red costume, congratulations. It's something, unfortunately, I missed my chance on getting, but I would definitely want to go back and pick up the red costume version of Deadpool to go along with the gray variant that we're looking at right here. Either way, if you guys are interested in picking this one up for yourself, he's going to be a little harder to come by because he's a special release, and you may have a better success of picking him up online, unless some comic book stores happen to stock him. But being that he is a special edition release the chances of that happening are probably slim to none either way though if you're a fan of the merc with the mouth this is a fun little pickup you may want to add to your collection today we were having a look at the beast kingdom this was the egg attack product code eaa065 the variant gray costume deadpool if you guys want to go back and have a look at some of my other Beast Kingdom reviews, there's a playlist just for that. And make sure you hit that little subscribe button down below, as certainly more Beast Kingdom reviews will be coming soon to this channel. And as always, guys, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.